Today's video falls under the category of alpha style pet peeves. What is it you ask? Well, I've got it going on right now with my collar. Check it out. It looks like my collar quit on me. All right, it's not standing up. I've got this fabric that's sort of billowing and looping. And there are a few reasons why this is happening. Reason number one is that the fabric is a little higher end. So it's softer. It's not quite as rigid and I don't have a high starch in there. And reason number two is the collar. It's not real tall. Okay, it's a widespread which looks great when it's buttoned, but when I want to wear it casually, it has a tendency to do what it wants to do, that being lay down. I want my collar to be tougher than that, to stand up under pressure. If I don't want to wear a tie, I want a collar that says no problem. You don't want to wear a tie, I'm still going to look fantastic and stand up tall. But instead, I am left with collars that quit. Until, gentlemen, I figured it out. How I figured it out was actually from watching a television show. All right, there's a series that I was, I've been addicted to on Netflix called Damages. The main character of Damages is played by an actress named Glenn Close. Now, for those of you old enough to remember, there was a movie called Fatal Attraction back in the day with Michael Douglas and Glenn Close. Anyway, if you haven't seen that movie and you're thinking about cheating on your spouse, girlfriend, significant other, whatever, watch the movie. It will change your mind. Glenn Close, pretty crazy. She plays crazy well. Anyway, I'm watching the show Damages, and the thing that struck me and jumped out at me was Glenn Close's outfits that she would wear, all right? In this show, she is wearing some amazing suits, but what really stood out is her collar. Dude, so I'm watching the show, I'm seeing her collar, I'm like, how the heck? And then it hits me. I know what's going on and I'm going to attempt to duplicate. So I'm like, seriously, how can this woman have a collar that is amazing? And I'm left with this action. <laughs> oh, she is a stylist and a big budget? I get it, but here's the deal. I figured that on a budget, I can do the same thing. So I went to Modern Tailor and made it happen. All right, so I'm at Modern Tailor, and uh, for those of you interested, there's a new video that I shot for them. The old one was terrible. Go to shirts, all right, design a shirt. And then we're just going to, for ease, select a fabric, okay? So now it's time to select the collar. Notice you've got a lot of different options, okay? The standard option that comes with the shirt, if you don't select anything other than the, the default, is the classic medium height collar. The back of the collar, is 3.7 centimeters. This is actually the band of the collar. Then you've got the point, which is 7.5 centimeters. But notice, you can go larger. You can also go smaller, okay? You've got the same options for the cutaway, but you also have it for the spread. Now, normally, I was buying the wide spread, okay? 4.6 centimeters in the back, collar point, which is the distance from the point to the band, eight centimeters, but there's another option right here. I'm going with two buttons. It's going to be a little bit larger, the band is, but the point of the collar is also going to be larger. We're going from 4.6 centimeters to five for the back height, the collar point, eight centimeters to 10.2. All right, this is the option I selected. The shirt is here, let's see how I did. Same luxurious fabric. All right, as you can see, the collar is a little bit larger. All right, now if it's buttoned, no problem. Still looks super tight and cool. As far as the buttons, as you can see, there are two. The band is a little bit larger, which is cool. I also went with two buttons and the corner cut just to make everything look consistent on the shirt. Now, the moment of truth. Let's try on the jacket. All right, let's see. <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you telling me that that's all I needed to do? Go a little bit larger with the collar and Glenn Close, a woman on a TV show, was the inspiration, the reason I finally figured out. Gentlemen, the collar is a little bit taller, but quite frankly, I think it looks pretty cool. This works great in V-neck sweaters. Oh, what? You want to see? Cool. Boom. Check it out. All right, and I don't even have any fashion anchors in, gentlemen. Are you telling me that I just solved the age-old question, the mystery? if you would, of what the freak is happening with my collars? Why won't they control? I don't have lesbian collars. I've got tight, sexy ass collar now, Jack. 
and check it out. If you haven't been to Modern Tailor ever or in a while, there's a link down below. Go check them out. You can, if it's your first time, you can buy a test shirt for like $19. We're talking your specific measurements. This isn't off the rack. This is custom, baby, and there's nothing that fits or feels better. Uh, there's also a link down below that will show you a video that I actually did where I show you how to measure an existing garment in order to get the perfect fit when you're actually developing your shirt profile. You know what? This is the best option quite frankly because you can customize every aspect of that shirt you get a fit that you absolutely love there is however a downside for your boy alpha in this whole situation the fact is I found a shirt and a style that actually works in my suits and v-neck sweaters the downside is that now I'm going to be spending more money because I got to order some new shirts <laughs> Right? There are worse things. Gentlemen, links below to everything, but I wanted to share what I found because if you're like me and the collar situation has been bugging you, now we figured out the solution.